Hi and welcome once again to Greg's Kitchen, where the food is finger licking. And today, no exception again, I'm going to show you how to make some beautiful chocolate fudge. Just perfect for parties, but just for something different, I'm going to make it in the microwave. So let's get started. Chocolate fudge only requires four ingredients, so let's take a look at what they are. What we're going to need is 500 grams of brown sugar, 250 grams of those chocolate button melts, 150 grams of butter, and a tin of sweetened condensed milk. What you will also need of some great importance is the biggest microwave bowl that you have. Now it might be wise to put some baking paper in your tin that you're going to use. Now to make the paper stick, just spray it with some cooking oil. Put the paper in and that should stick it down nicely for you. Well this recipe is very simple so let's get started. So into the bowl we add the 500 grams of sugar, 150 grams of butter, and we add the tin of sweetened condensed milk. Now we're going to microwave this for two minutes. Okay, once that two minutes is up, we'll take it out, give it a nice stir. Mix it through nice and good. Oh, that smells so good. Well, what we're going to do now is put this back in the microwave for two more minutes. Okay, that's been two more minutes. We take it out, give it another stir. You can see it's starting to really caramelize now too. Okay, this goes back into the microwave again. For two more minutes. Okay, so we take it out. We stir it again. And guess what? That's right, back into the microwave for two more minutes. Okay, that's that two minutes. And you'll notice that this has risen quite a bit. We'll just give that a quick stir. And now it's time to add the chocolate. And we've got to stir this through. See how quickly that melts? Oh, and that smell of chocolate is just incredible. Now just remember to take care because this is really hot. Now, we don't want it to cool too much because this is going straight in the tin. Now we just pat it all out into the corners. Give it a bit of a shake and a bang if you want. And that's it, all done. Now all we have to do is wait for it to cool for a bit and we can cut it into squares. Well it's been about 20 minutes, half an hour and I've let it cool down a bit so now it's time to cut it. Now we like to cut it while it's still a bit warm otherwise when it sets hard you can forget about it. So it's good to cut it while it's still a tiny bit soft. Just, just slide that knife through. That's great, so now we'll just let it cool a bit more before we take it out. Well once that's cooled down, it's time to take it out. And it should just fall apart nice and easily. Put it into a container for later. But seriously, I think it's time to try some. Oh my god, that is so incredible. Amazing. Man, that is so good. Well, I hope you enjoyed that recipe. I'm sure it will come in handy at some stage of your life. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Greg's Kitchen. Yummy, yummy. This is Greg's Kitchen, where the chocolate fudge is